What's up, YouTube? We're doing a Honda XR650L oil change. We're going to go for three and a half minutes. Let's kick it off. Need a 10 millimeter wrench or socket, a 12 millimeter socket or wrench. You need rags or towels, something to clean up with there. Two to two and a half quarts of oil and a funnel, long funnel, not a short fat funnel. On the flip side of the bike, you're going after uh, eight millimeters or a five millimeter Allen key on that filter cover. It all depends on the year of your bike. You need a replacement oil filter. You need a drain pan. You want to get that bike up to operating temperature, turn it off, and let the oil settle down into the case. Then you want to pop that uh, case bolt off down at the bottom. Oil is going to spit out, so be aware. It's going to leak all over the frame. If you get a skid plate on there, there's a small hole you got to try to aim through. Sometimes I like to just remove the skid plate. Uh, after you let it drain, you can flip it up on its side on the kickstand if you want to go for extra credit. Totally not necessary, just did it for fun in the video. What you want to do after that is put that plug back in. You want to check and make sure you get a compression washer on there if your bike requires it. Some years do, some years don't. The next thing we're going after was going after the frame down tube. So you got a bolt in here. This one spits out oil pretty far, so get that oil drain pan up by the front tire, yet still under the screw. It'll spurt, then it'll come back. Uh, once you get that going on, you might have a vacuum in there. I always like to pull that oil dipstick out just in case it's holding back any oil. All right, on the flip side, we got the oil filter behind the oil filter cover. So let's get these bolts off and let's do it nice and even. We don't want to strip anything. Put your thumb in there. There's a spring behind that filter. It's not very powerful. So just put your, hold it in as you're unscrewing it. Once you pop that off, you want to pay attention to how the oil filter comes out. There's a rubber seal on it. Uh, there's going to be a piece in my right hand that meets up on that rubber seal. So the rubber seal goes to the outside of the bike. There's a spring in that hole, which I'm going to show in just a minute. The steel side of the oil filter goes against that spring. Yeah, we got the super slow-mo effects going on here. Uh, once this is done, we're going to pop that filter back in. Steel side in, rubber seal out gently. Check that seal right there around that piece in my right hand. Line up the oil tubes. Line up the outside there. There's two notches. Perfect. Screw that in nice and gentle. We do not want to pinch that seal and tear it. Oil will be leaking all over the side. Don't over tighten it. All right, so now we got uh, 1040 or 2050 oil. Two quarts going down the skinny funnel here. Watch out for pouring it in too fast. It'll get a vacuum lock. The air will not be able to escape. You'll get something that looks like this. Don't pull the filter up at this point or the funnel up at this point. It'll just leak all over the bike. Just wait and wait. And eventually you get two quarts in there. You'll be good to go. Um, obviously double check all your torques. Start up the bike. Let it run while you're doing cleanup. After you're done with cleanup, you know, just check. Give it a once over underneath. Make sure you got no leaks. Everything's good and you should be all set. If you got any questions, put them in the comment box below. Bye-bye.